Hi, my name is Hisham Rad with Morpheus Data. In this short video, I'd like to highlight the integration between Morpheus and ServiceNow. There's four different use cases that I'd like to highlight. The first is around CMDB integration. The second is around approvals integration. The third is around incident management integration. And finally, the fourth is around the Morpheus plugin for ServiceNow. Let's get started. Starting from the Morpheus UI, let's go ahead and provision an instance. So I'll go ahead to the self-service catalog. Here I'm going to select Active MQ and select Next. I'm going to switch to the ServiceNow group in order to deploy to that group. I'm going to define some of the configuration requirements here. You see I change from a container to a virtual machine. I'm defining the network, providing an admin username and password. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next and then complete this provisioning. Now, a couple of things I want to highlight here. First of all is the approval request. So here I can see the request number. I'll switch over to ServiceNow and I'll do a quick search on that request number. The request itself is approved, but we'll go ahead to the request item and change that to closed complete. That will essentially approve it. We'll update that. While we're waiting for that approval to come through from ServiceNow, let's go ahead and take a look at the integration. We can open up the ServiceNow integration and take a quick look. I just want to highlight here how easy it is to do the integration with ServiceNow. It's really just a matter of providing the ServiceNow instance credentials as well as the URL, and if you want to do any specific custom mappings. Let's go back to the instance that we just provisioned and approved. Now we can see that the approval has gone through and the status is now provisioning. It's currently going through the different stages of the provisioning process. You'll see the information update in real time here as the provisioning is happening. And then we'll go back to the instance list and we can see now that its status has changed to green. Now let's go ahead and go into ServiceNow and take a look at the configuration item entry. You can see that here in the list. We'll go ahead and select it, and we can see the CI information. To show the incident management integration, what I'd like to do here is simulate breaking this application. So I'm actually going into the health of the application, and it has a website on it. And to simulate breaking it, essentially what I'm going to do here is change the port by simply adding a zero at the end. So now it's actually checking on the wrong port. As a result, this will shortly here change its status and the status will go to unhealthy and you can see it indicated by an error. This will now create an incident in Morpheus. So let's go to monitoring incidents. We can now see that we have an incident that's now currently opened in Morpheus. This will also trigger an incident to open in ServiceNow. So switching to ServiceNow and going to incidents, I'll filter on all the incidents and at the very top here I can see there's an incident on that specific instance that we just created. Going into the details of that instance, I can also see some additional activities in there as well. Now let's go back and correct that issue. So we're going to fix it by putting the port back to what it used to be. So we're going to correct that and we'll give that a few seconds here. It'll go back and do its checking. And then the health of that instance will eventually change back from an error to informational and eventually will go completely green. But now what happens is if I go to the incidents in Morpheus, we'll see that that incident has now closed. Now what happens as a result of this incident management integration, again, if I shortly here switch over to ServiceNow, we'll see that the state of that incident has now changed to resolve. The last part of the integration I'd like to highlight is the Morpheus plugin for ServiceNow. Going to the ServiceNow service catalog, I can see everything I'm entitled to. I've selected a blueprint and I'm going to go in and provide an application name and go ahead and order that specific application. Now, what I'll do is I'll switch back over to Morpheus to see the status of that application. So here I am switching to the application menu and I can see the application with a status of yellow indicating that it's waiting for approval. I go into the application and I can see it has multiple instances and I can see the request number. I'll grab that request number and head over to ServiceNow to approve that. I'll go to ServiceNow, I'll go to My Requests. I'll go ahead and do a search on that specific request number to open that up. 
And now I can go to the request item number, open that up and approve it by changing it from open to closed complete. Now what will happen is that application will switch in Morpheus from a waiting for approval state to a provision state. And I can see the icons here are now blue indicating that the application is provisioning. I'll switch back to the application specific view and I'll see the applications that I have in my list and I can see that my application is blue and now turned into green indicating it's now up and running. To summarize, we showed the approval integration by requesting services and applications in Morpheus and or ServiceNow and approving them in ServiceNow. We also showed the CMDB integration by highlighting the CI records that are created and modified in ServiceNow. We also showed the incident management integration by showing how incidents get opened and then resolved in ServiceNow. And lastly, we showed the Morpheus plugin for ServiceNow which allows us to share Morpheus instances and applications right into the ServiceNow service catalog for ServiceNow users to provision directly from there. Thank you and have a great day.